Hey y'all, it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Weekend's over and they are getting shorter and shorter all the time. See in the background here, I got me a sleeper truck today. Rode my tractor up the other night and because the front end was shaking. Turns out it needed steer tires and shocks, which I knew with the mileage it had on it, it was probably right. But then they also told me that it was due an overhead and a DPF filter change. So on the Freightliners and the Volvos that we have, they already have replacement DPF filter canisters in the shop so they can just take the old one out, send it in and put the one they have in the shop in. But the, we've had these international such a short time they don't have any in the shop to replace them with. So what they do is they gotta pull it off do uh send it in get it shaked and baked whatever it does and bench tested and sent back and then put back in and the truck also needed overhead so getting that done today maybe i'll get it back in the next couple days but this volvo is okay the good thing about the volvo for us is there's no inside camera but anyway but the bad thing about these sleeper trucks and I was close today is they're heavy and you really can't take as heavy trailers as you can on the day cabs even though they're single axles it's a gross weight issue so I got the paperwork says a 21 and a 18 something 19 something and I knew it'd be close and on the scale at at a at the yard I was really close, right at 80,000. And I won't tell you which side of 80,000 I was on, but when I got to the scale house at the 12 mile marker in Oklahoma, green light bypass, and they got some really good sensors on there, so I'm sure they're pretty accurate on knowing the weight. So I'm sure I was if then, if they give a tolerance, I don't know. There's all sorts of rumors of who gives what, and you can be a thousand over on an axle as long as you're not over gross, but my problem wasn't an axle today is uh, whether I'd be over gross. But evidently I'm okay. So anyway, <clears throat> another thing is today's the 29th of September. It's the day the new hours of service change is going to affect. And all that's going to affect me is on my 30 minute break. And suppose they've told us that we can, anything we do that's not driving, continuous 30 minutes, on duty, not driving, off duty, will show us our break. But the question is, is our ELD gonna be able to recognize that so I don't go into violation of making my break? Well, I'm gonna find out today. I'm gonna get up there, I'll get on duty, unhook, switch out, hook back to my other trailers, go off duty, and then we'll see what the countdown says. I'm gonna leave after 30 minutes total, and we'll see what they say. But I will let you know on the way back what the ELD said and what I might expect when I get back. So let's get on up to Billings. My guy's waiting on me. And, uh, well, he may not be there yet, but he'll be waiting on me. We're going to get up there and get switched out and see how it goes. See you up there. Hey, y'all. We're back to Arbuckle after making our meet in Billings. Uh, everything went well with that heavy, those heavy trailers. Didn't have a problem getting up there. And uh, these are pretty light. The ones I got going back to Dallas are pretty light. Uh, now, the ELD on my 30 minute break, it did not recognize the combination of on duty not driving with off duty. I got there, he was already there, so it was only like a minute and a half of on duty time combined. But it did not start ticking down on my time until I went off duty. So I don't know if this particular unit in this tractor has not been updated or I'm going to have to get with my line haul manager in the morning and find out how it's supposed to be working. They haven't really let us know a whole lot of information about it yet. So, But it's supposed to start today. So hopefully they'll get it fixed up. I mean, it's not that big a deal if he's there. The big deal is if I get there and I... He's not there yet, and I have to get unhooked. It's about five minutes getting unhooked, pulling out, getting away from the truck, 
the trailers and then getting off duty and then before I had to wait till I was completely done with my 30 minute break once he got there before I could go on duty get hooked up so there's another five or ten minutes there once it starts working right I can go on duty to move the tractor but be on duty not driving and then get hooked up which will be part of my 30 minute break I can time that to where it's just a few minutes to go so I have enough time to hook up do my pre-trip real well and time that to where it's right on my 30 minutes so I can get out of there these runs are long enough without having to to deal with extra time that don't need to give but anyway I'm all tire bumped up here at Arbuckle we only got about two hours to get back to Dallas and we're gonna I don't think my truck's gonna be ready for in the morning but so I'll, hopefully I can get this sleeper truck back it worked out really well and hopefully I don't have real heavy trailers in the morning if I do but anyway go down in the description Instagram account link Mark's Trucking Life Facebook group join up on those you'll have to request the follow I'll approve it if if you have a profile at all <laughs> I've had a couple that are they had no posts on their Facebook account so those guys those guys don't get in so and if you're on Facebook and you can't get in you can send me a message on my through that through the, the group but anyway in the description sign up for those two let's talk about it getting back to Dallas we'll see you later <laughs>